Oh my God, I hate myself. slash good to say again I haven't been on YouTube and I think when this video goes up it'll be a month and I just wanted to say sorry I suck I know there's a bunch of reasons as to why I haven't been uploading I've been going through some emotional crap it's yeah it's whatever and um, I've also been having problems with my computer it's a MacBook Pro 2012 it's a dinosaur I know Every time I go to import footage, I have an issue even just trying to import it. So it's super discouraging trying to make videos because I just know I'm going to run into a whirlwind of problems. But I miss you guys so much. So none of that matters. I'm back. I'm better than ever. I say that every time. But I mean it. So here is things I used to do as a child. The first thing I used to do is when I was riding in the car with my mom, I would always look out the window and whenever it was raining, I would pretend the little raindrops on the windows were people and they were racing. Apparently this is a common thing and I'm not the only one that's thought this. So let me know in the comments down below if you also thought that as a kid. Okay, this one is like super embarrassing and I'm pretty sure I'm the only kid on this earth that did this stupid shit, but <laughs> I would get a book that I really liked and I would put it on my trampoline and then I would literally stomp on the book trying to go into that book world. And I thought that if I just stomped hard enough that I would magically end up in the book. I know, I'll leave. <laughs> this one is also super, super embarrassing and my mom always tells people any chance she gets. I think it started at like the age seven and on. I was really into the movie Kiki the Witch and, or Kiki's Delivery Service, that's what it was. Sorry, my bad. And I thought I was a witch. I was fully convinced I was a witch that I could fly on a broomstick. I would literally ask Santa for my powers every year as my Christmas gift. I think up until I was like 12. Oh God. Like, why didn't my mom be like, girl, you ain't got no powers. Shut up! Another thing I used to do as a toddler, more like a toddler, not older kid. I'm so ashamed to admit this. I was such a demon child. Like this, this on my shirt, like that was me as a child. I was a demon. Whenever I didn't get what I wanted and my mom told me no, I would turn and look at her and go, literally throw myself on the floor and like throw an intentional temper tantrum like fine I'm gonna embarrass you you didn't give me what I want did it work no my mom just pushed the car to the next aisle didn't even give a damn another thing I used to think as a kid is that if you made scary faces at the sky when it was thunderstorming out that the thunderstorm would go away so I distinctly remember being at California Pizza Kitchen, and I took a handful of spaghetti noodles off my plate and put them in my pocket. And on the car ride home, I put them in my mouth and made a scary face at the sky until the thunderstorm went away. Why? Why? I also was super into like anything Halloween. I watched a Chucky movie when I was five. I was super, super into Halloween Town when I was like, I don't know, seven. And I guess that explains why I work at a haunted house now and I'm super into that stuff and I always have been. But I used to pretend that I lived in Halloween Town and whenever we got like the Halloween costume catalogs and the mail, I would play school and that would be our yearbook. And I would always be, you guessed it, a witch. And last but certainly not least, 
something that I, as well as my sister did, please don't kill me, Serena, as a kid, is we would bite the tops off of crayons and throw them at the ceiling and then hide them under my sister's bed. Note that my sister's bed did not have a bed skirt of any sort and it was lifted. So of course my mom walked in and saw the abundance of crayons under the bed and was like, what the hell? But yeah, I don't know what the motive was. I don't know why we did that, but we did and I have no explanation for it. But yeah, those were some of the stupid things I thought slash did as a child. I'm probably gonna make a part two, three, four, five, whatever on this video because there's so many dumb things that I did as a kid. I don't know how my mom put up with me. Susan, you're the shit. I don't know how you put up with me, but you know, you raised a somewhat okay citizen. Yeah, <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, I suck at this now, don't I? I'm off for a month and I can't do it anymore. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. Leave a comment down below letting me know what type of video you'd like to see from me next. I'm always, always open to suggestions. If you haven't already, pretty please click that subscribe button down below to join the super awesome, super cool Good Vibes Tribe family. And on that note, Good Vibes Tribe. Side note, I promise, promise, promise that I'm going to try to start posting weekly again, but um, as long as I have my dinosaur computer, I don't know how well that's gonna work. But I love you guys. Bye.